Okay, it's Thursday, yeah, Thursday night, in the garage. Um, it's a mess right now, but anyway. A lot of stuff going on, but I'm really excited about this, um, this cell because I sold some trains. Uh, I was hoping those trains would go quickly, and they have. Um, as a matter of fact, we sold, I think it was 11 trains in a matter of 10 minutes to the same person. Uh, I bought these trains for, if you remember, remember a couple videos ago, um, I talked about these trains that I bought. They were for a special event, Railroad Days. And that's gonna be backwards for you guys. I think mm -hmm. um, Railroad Days in North Vernon, Indiana, did these trains every year, special editions. Some were these plain boxes. They're different brands, but they have the event logo on the side in the year. Anyway, this one guy bought. I think it was eleven trains. Um, I bought these trains for a dollar each at a yard sale and uh, sold these for twenty dollars a piece. Um, they're all going to ship in the same box, so it's it's a great deal. Um, I can't wait. Uh, to get them out of here and move on to something else. But it was awesome to have such a quick turnaround on these trains. We have a few left. This won't be all of them, but uh, uh, the bulk of them will be gone once we get these out the door. Okay, the first one we're going to pick is, uh, let's see, a 1997 passenger observation car. It says there are seven of these available, but I don't see them. I think they're in this other box. Uh, this box. So let me pull, let me pull something else. Let's see what, sorry, let's see what's in this box here. So we can go ahead and pull. Uh, how about 93? 1993. Railroad days. One of those. Coal car. I think this is it right here. 93. Yes. Oh, actually, he bought two of those. Okay, next is. 1992 40-foot box car. 1999, 19. Oh, there's 92 40-foot box car. Okay, he bought one of those, it looks like. Let's just check. Oh, actually, on the next page. He bought the other one too. That's it right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next, we have a tank. Let's see. What year was that? It doesn't say. 1570 single dome tank car. I think that's the one right there. I'll double check all these before I send them out. Accurail 3000 series 40 foot steel 1998. Okay. Is that the maintenance car? No, steel box car. Maintenance car, maintenance car. That's, that's it, that's it. This is a really cool car. I like this one. I think I kept one of these for myself. I like that. The yellow with the black print looks really great. Okay, one of those. All right, and next. 1994 Covered Hopper. One of those. Next, 
1996. Baggage passenger car. There it is. Okay. Um, let's see. Dreamland Observation Car, 97. I don't think that one's in here. What else can we pull here? 92. I think I saw that one. Oh, did I already pull that? Okay, I already pulled that one. Um, 2000. Bay Window Caboose. I guess the last one of those. And I believe the rest are in the next, next box. Down. Oh, I don't want to drop that. Okay. Let's see what we got. Nineteen ninety seven observation car, that seems right. I think there are a couple of those, okay. Okay, obviously we're not done with these yet. We have, you know, some more in here, some more in here, but I have sold the bulk of them. Um, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, um, 11. I believe that this is a few, a few stacks here on all the trains at the Skyblock. By the way, it was about a, uh, about a $300 day, I think, and 230 of that was this guy's train, so. Um, it was set to be a slow day, uh, but before it was over, um, it turned out pretty well. Okay, so we got all the trains. Actually, my wife is double checking to make sure they're the right trains and the right number of each train anyway. Uh, that's a lot. Um, the next item is a, actually this right here, Thompson um, adapter for something. Um, anyway, $8.99, um, free shipping. Um, and one more thing, a book, actually. Kind of an interesting book. I'll show you here in just a second. But I wanted to say, I was at GameStop today buying, uh, paying off a pre-order. And someone was trying to sell some PSP games. I didn't really want the PSP games unless I could get them for like a dollar a piece. Because they were nothing great. But she had about five games, I think, in a, in a case. Um, anyway, no, no system, just the case. Um, so, GameStop doesn't buy PSP games, I guess. They buy some retro systems, and she was saying, well, I just want to get rid of them. I don't know where to take them. And he told her a local place, kind of local place, um, one town over that she could take them to. And they buy um, PSP stuff. Uh, and also, you know, he said they buy other retro stuff. She said, oh, good, because I've got a Nintendo and a Super Nintendo and an N64 and a GameCube and a Sega and an Atari and, like, all hundreds of games, and they're all in the boxes. She said, I just don't know what to do with them. My son doesn't want them anymore. And... You know, her son was grown, and um, anyway, uh, she was moving and needed to get rid of them. So he said, "Yeah, the, I don't know. They buy some GameStop buys some retro stuff, but you know, I'd probably just take it somewhere like like this place. Um, retro. It's kind of a retro game store slash movie store. Uh, anyway, uh, I took advantage of the situation and I said, "Hey, you want to sell those PSP games?" And I really didn't want them, like I said. She said, oh yeah, I'd love to get rid of them. So she said like 30 bucks, which was way too much. I said, well, we take 20. Uh, I, I, and she's, I think she actually came down to 25. And then I said, well, you take 20. Anyway, got them for 20. That was full price. I'm gonna turn around and sell them on eBay and I'll probably barely make my money back if I make my money back. But the reason I did that was it was just 20 bucks. I can probably make it back and break even. That's not why I did it. Why I did it was, I want her to call me or text me 
and I gave her my business card, she's supposed to text me and let me know about the other game systems and games. Um, from the way she talks, she has like a dozen different game systems and hundreds of games that are still in the boxes with the manuals and everything. I want dibs on that. So I'm willing to throw away 20 bucks even if I, even if I couldn't sell those games. I'd throw away 20 bucks easily for the chance of that. Now, not every day do you come across something. Uh, it depends on what it is. But with games, I know games um, and I'm really comfortable selling them. I used to be a collector. Actually, I still am on a smaller scale, but I used to have um, over a thousand games myself. So I know that game. I know, I know games. Um, and I'm not afraid to throw away 20 bucks for a chance at a deal like that because um, that could be that could be pretty huge. So anyway, keep your eyes and ears open. Um, and the manager was, wasn't upset because he wasn't going to buy them anyway. So um, yeah, like I said, just keep your eyes and ears open. You never know when you'll find an opportunity uh, for a great deal, um, at least a potential great deal. So she has my number. Whether she texts me or calls me, we'll see. But um, at least... I made, I did what I can, you know, I made my, my step in, the, in that direction. So we'll see what happens. I will let you know if I, if I get that deal or if I even get a look at it, I will let you know. Last item is on the bookshelf and I believe it's in this stack. Yes, right there. Um, oh boy, let's see what we got here. Graphic novel. Got a lot of random stuff. We have some signed books. Um, some of these are just signed by the author. There's a new graphic novel, an old, uh, new old stock, I guess you would say, graphic novel. Some science fiction, fantasy. Um, the graphic novel is throwing everything off because it's so big. Uh, try to do this. There we go. I'm gonna slide these two back over. Okay. All right, I got the one I needed. This is kind of an interesting book. Let's see. Um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Anna Waterhouse. I'm gonna make room here on the table. Sorry. My wife's trying to list stuff. She doesn't want me on camera, but she's right here trying to list. Um, so I'm gonna show you. I don't always check books, but I spot check, and every now and then I'll find a signed book. And when I do, I look at books around it because sometimes they'll be signed as well. So this is signed by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and the co-author, Anna Waterhouse. Well, that was pretty cool. I sold this for, I think it was 20, 20 bucks. And that neighborhood, 20 something, 20, 25 bucks. Uh, paid 250 for it. I've more than made my money back on this lot of books that I bought, so. Um, actually, I think I paid 250 or less total for all the books. I have more than half of them left, and I've made like $600 in sales off of it. So, um, great deal. Um, and this one's going out today. Okay, so evidently I missed a couple of trains when I was pulling them earlier. I have to get two more. It was a passenger car. I believe it's these right here, 1995. That's probably the one. Okay, we're gonna go inside and check it out. Actually, let me just open one up and show you what it looks like. I'm sure these are the ones. Yep, those are the ones. All right, so we bought 13 trains. Now we've got them all, time to package them up. Get them in the mail. If you like what you see and you wanna see more, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.